I have lost people who were like think I'm conservative now and I have not changed I don't think at all. No. I think the politics has changed and the people have changed. Um but I don't think that it makes me a conservative to you know think things that are crazy are crazy. Yeah. Uh, and and forcing me to say so doesn't doesn't help. You yeah. Know? I, I, there's there's just too much forced conformity. Yeah. And there's no thinking out loud. Yeah. That's not allowed. Yeah. Uh, I just re I remember watching your show a couple times when uh, you would actually feel, I could see you genuinely disappointed when people applauded for what you would think would be a red meat comment. Like, I hate, I, it kind of, it's kind of like, get, it's like, you know, because I do the same thing. It's like, I know that it's really easy to uh, bash Biden or anybody. And then, so we have these, the, we, we, I joke about it. I go, well, that was red meat. And I go, so you, that's funny to you. But if I do anything else, it's not funny. It kind you get, it gets, it, it's like, but they're not living in the world that we live in. So maybe this is, you know, this is their outlet. I don't know. But uh, I've I noticed that when you do that, you'd be just, you just kind of go, like, don't clap. Well, I, there were many years, the majority of the years, that I've done real time from the same studio at CBS here in Hollywood, uh, 20 years. The first, I would say, <laughs> at least 15, I was probably fighting with the audience, you know, at least once a show. Mm -hmm. It was very rare I had an audience that didn't like ooh and ah something. Then we did. Somebody did some, oh, part of it was the pandemic. We had to like get a, a smaller audience. Right. And so we just, somehow they knew how to like get rid of just the groaners. Yeah. And so like we do, we, and we stuck with it even after the pandemic ended and we could have as many as we want now. But I was like, no, no, I'd much rather have this half filled, mm. but they're the good people who they, they can laugh at both sides. Right. They, they cheer both things. Um, they cheer common sense. Yeah. And that made my life so much better. And I know people who miss it. They're like, oh, I loved it when you would like, you know, say, you know, give the crowd the finger or, or, yeah. or tell them like <laughs> something. I don't know. And it was true. I, I mean, because I'm not one of those comics who can just like pretend. It's like, no, if, if you're like being oversensitive, I'm going to bust you yeah. on it. And because you're an audience. This is a comedy show. My, the, sign over my head says real time or it says politically incorrect it, why are you here <laughs> if you're not if you're not here to be open-minded and willing to laugh at a lot of stuff and ooing and on this you can go to every other kind of show in mm -hmm. town the taping and you'll be absolutely in a in the perfect setting for <laughs> yes. that for being full of <laughs> yeah but this is my house mm -hmm. why are you here so i would that would i kind of was like it yeah. just, I couldn't, um, I'm not saying it was, it's the most professional thing I've ever done was, you know, flip off the crowd or, or yell at them. You're supposed to like just eat it. But I, I could never because like, again, it's the enemy of comedy, political yeah. correctness. Yeah. I mean, comedy in, in general is by its almost nature politically incorrect because politically incorrect means true and honest and that's what makes people laugh is when, oh, yeah, I hadn't, nobody yeah. said that and that, but he said something true and I, I relate so much it tickles me. Hey, thanks for watching the clip. Hit the subscribe button now so you never miss out on our club random content that's posted daily.